Hello Los Altos members. Today we're going to learn how to use the range function on our full swing simulators. From our main screen here you're going to hit practice and now it's going to cycle to our practice range. Once it does, I'm going to pick a target. As you can see right now on the screen, it's kind of an empty field with a pole. But if I want to add a target, I'm going to go down here to the bottom left, three little lines, click it, touch target with my finger, and then move my cursor with my plus or minus to whatever distance I want and or, and or drag it. So I want it to be about 160 yards. And you'll see up here it has marker, green, or bucket. I'm going to do bucket, this way we can see it nice and easily. The other, the other preference I like to see is video playback of timing. I do want to see it in three seconds uh, of, after my shot. It just helps me see what the golf club is going to do. Now let's go hit some shots. Okay, the other thing we have to make sure is in our standard size bays, all the players are going to be standing in the center of the mat and then hitting balls on the outer edges. So you see here, as me, as I'm a right-handed player, stand in the center, hit on the right-hand side. If I was lefty, again, I'd be standing in the center, hitting on the left-hand side. The other thing to do is to make sure, when we are ready to hit, that the screen has this beautiful green check mark on it. That lets us know that the cameras up above recognizes the golf ball. Now we're ready to go. Let's hit a few. Now I'm going to hit one more. You can see my shot information from the last shot. I'm going to hit one more for you. And this one I'm going to hit real bad on purpose. Well, you can tell I hit a shot, a short right fade. If I didn't like that shot and don't want it to be part of my data, just come over to the screen. And right above the data, you can see a little button that says remove last. I'll just clear that one out, and it's as if it never happened. Now I'm going to go back to hitting one more shot, and then I'll show you how we hit our drivers or our fairway ones. I've got my green check. I'm ready to go. Perfect. Now, if I want to hit drivers, what I'm going to do is come on over here to the screen. If I want to clear out, again, clear out all the information after you've had a nice session and change to see, get some club data, I'm going to hit clear all. So now it's brand new, like I've never hit a shot. And I'm going to go to the range and do target and do none. This way, I don't have any target out there, so I can swing away. I'm ready to go. The only other thing is, is when we're in here, we're not going to use real tees. We'll have these collection of burr tees, is what they're called, uh, at each bay for you to use. We have all different heights for you to use. Again, we're gonna put it down, get it all set up, make sure I got my green check, get set up, and give it a rip. And that's how we use our simulators for our practice sessions. We can hit balls as much as we want and collect data. But if you have any other questions, please come in and see our professional staff and we'll get you all comfortable and set on our awesome full swing simulators.